it's a sort of bivalve. Oh, what is this? Could this be? Oh my god, could this be an ammonite? Could this be an ammonite? I must clean this with water. Let me clean this with water. <laughs> it has a nice fossil. I guess it's time to excavate. Take a good look at this over here. Pretty, pretty beautiful. Right there, this is the cut for Good morning my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode Today I'm back, uh, back to the place where I was in the last video Which was near this uh, forts that were built in the top of these hills over here as you can see down below there are some constructions over here and the forts were built to hold the French invasions in the in the past I don't know the precise year I have to check in the books but if you saw the last uh, the last the last movie you can you know what what I what I'm talking about because all of this area around here is full with little fossils So my friends, as I was saying, this is this is a part of the defense lines that surrounded the, the city of Lisbon during the French invasions. And what you see here on my right side is an ancient military road that where the supplies came to the forts that are in the top of these hills over here. So I kind of, I kind of want to show you this road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is very steep to climb over here. Okay, this is the ancient road, the supply road that leads to the forts that are in the top of these hills. So this is pretty ancient. And if you look at the, some of the rocks that are present in this in this road over here, you'll see lots of different fossils. But I'm not going to mess in that. Guys, can you imagine the the horses and the wagons climbing up this road over here? And it's very steep, full of ammunitions and the wagons rocking around <laughs> because the road is not that that flat okay i'm coming to the top of the hill who needs gyms anyway Whew. take a look at that view over here Whew. okay like i was saying this whole area around here in the top of this hill was built to hold to 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 hold against the French invasions. Okay, it's too sunny and you cannot see anything. So over there, there is a, some sort of construction. I believe uh, that was the place where they stored the ammunition. And I believe in here, if you can see it, because it's too bright, it was the fort. So. Let's see if we can see anything around here. Okay, they, they recover all of this part around here. If you want to visit, there's not much to see unless you are interested in history, Portuguese history. Some sort of, of viewpoint, let me see. Okay, and we have the history around, so pretty cool. Okay, now we have a better viewpoint. The trees cover a little bit, but it's cool. Whew. Okay, as you can see, there is no sea around, <laughs> so it's pretty interesting because all of this area has plenty of 
marine fossils so I'm wondering this could be some sort of an island over here so my main purpose is down below in the valley I just climb up to up here to show you these guys they ex pretty much ex excavate this whole area around here pretty cool well friends this exposed bedrock here looks like a very good spot to search for fossils but I'm not going to because two reasons first this is all covered with some hard and dense bushes and second the slope is very 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 uh, straight and the lands are filled with water and I think this is one step to falling down so I will check if there is another place around here before I try to make something a little bit risky so it's better not to risk and come back here a different day maybe that piece of rock already give up and end up in the middle of the road and making my my job a little bit easier and less dangerous so let's get going so friends haha my luck is changing a little bit so take a look at this what is in the, the left of the road yay anarchomitilus yay and i believe this is a cool cool one it's pity that the the tip is not complete but it's very hard to find one with the tip complete but this one is still still very cool let me put it like that for you guys to, oh my god my camera my camera is oh okay now you can oh my friends <laughs> oh i was talking about this one over here and take a look at this take a look at this see ha 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 you know what this is well this is not whoa there was some sort of caterpillar on the bottom of this oh my friends this is so cool this is not a mammoth tooth uh, or something like that this is called isognomon it's a sort of bivalve and this one I know what it is this one normally it's a little bit more uh, longer than this but since this is the the hard part it's uh, it has this one part over here complete Woo! pretty cool and the caterpillar is still sleeping <laughs> okay I have to concentrate a little bit my eyes in the in the side of the road because s more stuff ca could could tumbling down could be tumbling down uh, into here so oh my god take a look at this it looks like a bottom of a shoe <laughs> I sure would like to find one complete but this one it's still cool very nice yeah, it's a gnomon. <laughs> Very cool. Let me see if my machine does a proper zoom for you guys to see the nice details. But okay, here it is. Proper zoom on is a gnomon for you guys to see the nice details. <laughs> okay, this this road over here is paved with Archomitylus. Take a look at this one. Whoa, was a bee, was right next to me. Okay. Hmm. This one is a little bit broken, but still pretty nice. Oh, it's a bit broken now, it's very broken. Okay, but there is another one in here. Looks like an alien crash site. Oh, this one is cool. But it's also missing the tip. Ah, okay. Let's see if we can find another one. But this one complete. 
okay you cannot see the ridges over here the the insect shape sides so okay hey guys I guess it's time to excavate okay let's see if this one over here is complete let's see see where I want to to go okay it's moving uh, but it's very stuck okay now chan, 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 chan. whoa it's almost complete it is a bit missing over there but oh my god from this angle it's very pretty very very pretty but this side over here eh, not so good okay okay i guess this one will come with me <laughs> okay let's get going okay my friends i simply love this road because it's downwards and it has this water flowing on the sides and the rocks on this side are very clean and since uh, it was raining the other day now we can find something real cool in in this in this uh, in this road I don't well my friends the sun is really low and it's making my job very very difficult I was keeping attention on this side of the road because uh, the fossils are becoming a little bit different than than the other ones that are in the top and I believe I am traveling between layers because the road is down the hill what what is this over here okay this is a large one oh this is a large a large shell but I'm not sure if it is an uh, an Archometilus. no this one is different and it has this side very eroded so my guess is not an Archometilus. something different something different guys yeah another shell another mollusk Okay, and I believe there is another one in there. Uh, let's see if it is another one or not. Oh, what is this? It's another one also. But pretty much eroded. This one I have to be careful to carry it home with me because it's very thin and this edge will crack easily. Okay two stuff that whoa what's this over here there is another okay this is some sort of bivalve oh look you can see the the lines over here okay this layer of this layer where i am it's very different from the other layer where i found the archometilus and there seems to be pretty much a very different kind of stuff around here what's this I believe it's another shell well these ones are very very different and what's this over here <sighs> looks like a disc I don't know if there is something or not okay plenty of interesting stuff I have to read in the books what it is okay my legs are hurting me okay I have there now I have much weight to carry okay oh my friends I am so so blind I was I was uh, excavating that point over there and I was piling down the fossils that uh, I will carry it home and near my feet next near my feet here it is <laughs> one complete and it has this side almost has something inside I don't know what it is and it has the other bit also complete so this these two are put back together like that so neat so neat 
and they are complete. Whoo! I make the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, I will start to sing now. <laughs> well, I was walking in the road and I was looking down as usual to see if there is any fossils. Then I, I saw something and I, I almost looked like it was something made out of, I don't know, styrofoam or something. Take a good look at this over here, my friends. Oh my god. I believe it's another part of Isaac Nomon. Well, so nice, so nice this one and big. I didn't have found an, anything as big as this one. So cool. Oh my friends, I'm so happy. I'm really happy. I didn't disturb it yet because I was taking a little, uh, some pictures. But as you can see, it's a little bit eroded. Well, I'm lifting a little bit. So, oh my God. And it has something in here also. No, this is just mud. No, there's something in here, all right. Some sort of organism attached to it. Oh my God, this one is, this one is a keeper. Take a good look at this. Isaac Norman in the house. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> so nice. Okay, but if there is one, probably there is more. Oh, I saw something over there also. What is this? What is this? It's nothing. Eh. Well, now I'm in the point that I'm seeing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not seeing stuff. No, no. Take a good look at this. Oh, this is the part of another one, I believe. It looked like uh, some sort of a tooth. And there is another bit over here. Oh my god, there's fossils everywhere in this road. Oh, that's cool. Real cool. Okay, what's this over here also? It's an... Oh my god, it's in the part of another one. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> Isaac Nomon. Another one. This one is almost irrecognizable and it's little one, but it's another Isaac Nomon. Okay, cool. Okay, there's a lot of them. Well, this is the father, this is the son. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, if there is one, there is more. Now I learn to, to find them even when they are turned upside down. Take a look at this one. I almost bet that this one is an isognomon. Let me do a little zoom, a little bit approach, and one, two. Oh, I was mistaken. This one. Yes, I'm not mistaken. Take a look at this. Here it is. <laughs> I have to wash it a little bit with water for you guys to see it better. Okay. There's a pool of water in here, maybe, if I wash it a little bit. Woo! This is cold. Oh my god, my hand. See? See the stripes around here? That's an Isaac Norman, for sure. Yeah! <laughs> Shame that I don't found one complete. Oh my god, this place is, is real magic. Take a look, I was washing this, this Isaac Norman over here, now let me see if the machine does a proper zoom for you guys to see the nice details, okay, take a look, I was uh, um, cleaning this one over here and look at this, right next to this, take a look at this rock, it has a nice fossil, I found this ones in the last video that I made, but I still don't know wh what is the species or the name of this. But cool, man, cool. Okay, hoo hoo. I'm very happy. Hoo hoo. What a nice fossil hunting. Well, this road is really, really, really paying off. The oh, could this be? Could this be an ammonite? Oh my god, could this be an ammonite? Oh my god, could this be an ammonite? <laughs> could this be an ammonite? Well, let me 
breathe a little bit. Uh, let's see if it is. I don't know if it is an ammonite or not. Let me see if it is. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I guess it is. But it's so broken that I'm not sure. Mm, I was saying. I was started to think, but not sure if this is an ammonite or an autiloid or some sort of bivalve. Well, I must clean this with water. <sighs> Let me clean this with water. <laughs> It's an ammonite. I hope it's an ammonite. <sighs> not sure. Oh god. Still not sure if it is an ammonite or not. <laughs> well. <sighs> I must continue searching. But this is pretty pretty. Whew, pretty close to an ammonite that I found today. If it's not an ammonite, it's some sort of nautiloid. I, do, I, I cannot see the spirals, that's the problem. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! What's that? What's that over here? <laughs> it's another Isaac no Oh my god! It's another Isaac Norman and this one is even better than the other ones! Oh my god! This one is a uh, huge. This one is the Jedi Master. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! The water is so cold. Oh, oh. Well, uh, oh, I must clean this with the other end, and I have to stop recording. I'll show you in the second. So, are you ready, my friends? After this, uh, maybe an ammonite discovery. I found this which is right there. This is the godfather of Isaac Nomon. Take a look at this. Oh my God. Look at these ridges over here. Pretty impressive. Oh my God. They almost look like an inch of some sort. But too close something. I was saying fshara in Portuguese. <laughs> oh, and this side, it Oh, it still has some carbonate calcium. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, oh, oh. Is this the other part? Well, I'm not sure. Oh my god, this is the other part. Oh my god, I have two valves of the eyes. <laughs> oh, lucky I am. Lucky I am. It was right there where I put the ammonite ammonite this is going to be my lucky ammonite I'm going to to make a necklace out of it and bring it with me <laughs> it gives good luck take a good look well I have to clean this better but it has the, the other part of the hinge so this must close like that I guess oh this is a nice gnomon Two inches. Nice. Nice ones. Oh, now I was stashing this in here because uh, I am following the road. Maybe this is a nice agnomon, but it's closed. I have to open real careful these ones. Okay. Oh, see, that is the, the stuff that I need to carry it home. And it's going to be a lot of stuff today. Hoo -hoo. So friends, I am in this ridge. Uh, looking for something different. Uh, until now I found a large amount of Archimetilus, Isognomons. I have my backpack full of that. And I presumably found a uh, Namonite. Take a look at this over here pretty pretty beautiful if you're looking for fossils this 
is a beautiful place to search. Uh, well, I'm guessing for today I will heading ho I will head home because I already have too much weight in my backpack, and I came back. I will come back another day to see if I can find something more cool. So let's get going. So guys, here it is. These are uh, the fossils that I pick up on this on this trip. I already washed it a little bit uh, with water. I didn't scrub it very well because I, do, I want to preserve some of this, the distinctive traces over here. So these are the uh, Isaac Norman pieces that I managed to pick up today. Very cool. Some of them are very very large. And this this made me think because I I'm not familiarized with these pieces that the pieces that I picked up today uh, of Isaac Norman these pieces are the same of these ones that I managed to pick up and still in one piece still closed so these ones over here I I will leave it for the next video where I will try to open it this this uh, this uh, specimens that I have here to see what's inside maybe they have a pearl inside who knows but on the first glance this this could be a Narcomitilus species also because it has that that distinctive trace of an inch in here see so these ones I will leave it for my next video and well these are the ones that I managed to pick up on today's expedition I have this bivalve that I don't know the species but I have to check on the internet but still has some distinctive traces of having some sort of inch over here also this I only have this valve well I managed to pick up some thorns of echinoid uh, sea urchin uh, it's more easy to understand and I only bring with me the best ones the other ones that were broken or damaged I'll leave, leave it in the field but these ones were the best ones I have to wash it a little bit better and put it in my collection and these are the pieces of Isaac Norman as you already saw in the, the video these are the pieces of Archomitilus. Well, some of them uh, need to be washed again because they still have some clay in the in that in that uh, areas around here. But this, my friends, this is my main I don't know disappointment or surprise because I thought that this could be an ammonite, but now I'm not sure. I managed to to remove this bit over here and i didn't find the central piece the piece where the the, the spiral is so it looks like some sort of an s a c sorry or a g but no central piece no signs of grooves or what whatsoever but still not sure really i don't know what this is i cannot seem to classify this as an ammonite so i have to pick up my dremel and try to remove this bit over here to see if i can reach the central point and if there is no central point so this is not an ammonite this is another species so this uh, still has uh, a lot of work a lot of work ahead so guys if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you leave if you really want to support me please click on the ads on youtube and we'll see you on the next video Bye.